welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a DIY using these items here that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I know these are totally random items and I cannot wait to show you what I've come up with using these items. This DIY is somewhat inspired by a piece that I saw on TV that I knew I could recreate using Dollar Tree items. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind using these items from the Dollar Tree. From the Dollar Tree, I picked up a pack of these shower curtain rings, this salt and pepper set. I'll also be using some of this decorative nautical rope. I had a six pack of these decorative twig balls on hand picked up two of these Halloween chains. I'll also be using four yellow pencils and I picked up this yellow clock from the 99 cent store for $2.99. Make sure to head on over to Kayla's channel this week because this week she recreates one of my DIYs. So to see which one she recreates, you'll have to head on over to her channel. You can find the link to her video in the description box below. When I picked this clock out, I wasn't really worried about the color of it. Although it does have a real nice aged white look to it, I'm going to paint this because I need it to suit my decor. So I'm going to start off by flipping it over and I'm going to take it apart using my handy screwdriver that I got at the Dollar Tree that has lots of really neat attachments in it. This clock comes apart pretty easily. It's held together by four screws, so by taking it apart, it's going to make it a lot easier for me to paint. To paint my clock, I'll be using this folk art acrylic paint in the color of Cafe Latte. And I'm gonna give the two pieces, this ring and the clock, a good solid base coat. So it'll probably end up being about two coats needed because I want full coverage. Taking the clock apart is completely optional. I took it apart because I am going with very dark colors and I really wanted to make sure and get this inside edge of this clock painted because it'll be so rustic and dark. I didn't want this to stand out. Once my base coat is good and dry, I will be using this Crackle Medium by Folk Art. An alternative to this, I have been told, is to use Elmer's glue that you can still achieve that crackled finished look using this. This is not a technique that I am yet familiar with. That'll be for an upcoming later video. You can find a crackle medium at just about any of your craft stores, Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. I've even seen it at Walmart. I picked up this folk art brand at Michaels. I'm going to give this clock a real nice coat of this crackle medium and I'm going to be a bit generous with it because the more you put on and the thicker the coat, the better the crackle outcome is. Once I've got the crackle medium applied, I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna let it dry for about an hour because you want this crackle medium to be good and cured before you move on to the next step. Grr, I am so frustrated right now. I'm so sorry that this next step did not get filmed. I didn't realize it until I was editing and I couldn't find the footage. For this next step, I used Waverly's chalk paint in the color of black. This is a matte black. And all you really do is for this next step, you just apply a thin coat over the top of that crackle medium after it's dried. You don't want to go over it too many times because it will take away from the crackle effect. And you'll see the crackle effect happening pretty quickly once you apply this top coat of paint. I'll link another video in the description box below that I just recently did using this crackle medium if you want to see step by step how I did it. My clock is good and dry, so I'm good to put it back together again.
Now what am I gonna do with these salt and pepper shakers? I'm gonna remove the lids from them. And all I will be using for this DIY are the lids. I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna place some hot glue right around the edge of this lid. Then I'm gonna glue the two lids together, leaving me with this. Then using my rope, I'm gonna cover these lids in rope. If I'm being completely honest, I thought gluing these two lids together was gonna give me more of a different shape than a ball. So in all honesty, a styrofoam ball would be a great alternative to these lids if you don't wanna use them. There is a bit of a different shape but it's not a dramatic difference. And so if you wanna use a styrofoam ball in place of these two lids, you can. I have these lids on hand already in my stash. And so it was what I was looking for to get the shape that I needed and it worked. But like I said, a styrofoam ball would work just as good. And I'll just be hot gluing this to the top of my clock. For this next part of the project, I'll be using these decorative twig balls. They come in a six pack. I'll be using two of them. Again, styrofoam balls are a great alternative to this. Dollar Tree has this assortment pack that gives you all the sizes that you would need for this project. Like I said, I was just using what I had in my stash and thinking out of the box to cut down on cost. I'm going to cover two of these in rope. And as for the pencils, I'm gonna take all four of these pencils and I'm gonna glue them together, kind of giving me a rod. An alternative to this step is to use PVC pipe or doweling. Again, I was using what I had on hand to achieve what I needed to achieve and this was a great alternative. Once my pencils are glued together, I'm gonna wrap them in rope. leaving me with this rod. Now I'm gonna take the two twig balls that I covered in rope and I'm gonna glue them on to each end of my pencils. And you can see here, once I've glued it on, there's this space here. I don't want that to show, so I'm gonna cover it in rope. Then again, on the other side, doing the same thing. Now using the shower curtain rings that you can get at the Dollar Tree, they come in a 12 pack. I'll be using two. Using some wire cutters, I'm gonna cut about an inch and a half off of one of the shower rings. You can cut through this plastic pretty easily. Leaving me with this. Then taking my two chains from the Dollar Tree, an alternative to these chains if you are doing this project outside of Halloween, is these plant hangers, or you can go to Lowe's and you can buy plastic chain for 73 cents a foot. I'm gonna take two rings, a whole ring and my cut ring, and using my Color Place spray paint in the color of flat black, I'm gonna spray paint my rings and my chain. Now taking my shower curtain rings, the ring that I cut I'm gonna place it through the chain, then taking my clock, I'm gonna hot glue it to the sides of the rope ball at the top of the clock. Just like so. Then taking the other shower curtain ring that I painted, I'm gonna place it through the other end of the chain, then I'm gonna hot glue it to the middle of my pencil rod that we covered in rope, leaving me with this. Now let's go hang this up and let me show you how this looks. Would you look at how stinking amazing this turned out? This pocket watch is such an amazing wall decor piece and it is so budget friendly. I love the rustic feel of this watch just by adding that crackle finish, by adding the rope to it. This is one of those projects that you could easily make to suit your decor needs just by changing the color. And there you have it. This turned out stinking amazing and I gotta say I'm really happy with the outcome. And the great thing about this DIY is you can go as big 
or as little as you want depending on your wall space just by simply changing the clock size. You can also change the style of this to suit your decor needs. I did it in the farmhouse decor style because that is the decor style of my home and I just needed this in my bedroom and I have the perfect wall for this. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2,000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow a bit faster and it helps YouTube to notice me a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody. <laughs>